What up though, DJ Star back with another On Feet video and today we're discussing one of my favorite silhouettes in the Air Jordan line. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow and I'm still pushing for subscribers so check your boy out. Be sure to subscribe, tell your family and friends, somebody doing something on this shoe thing but a little differently than everybody else. So today we're discussing one of my favorite silhouettes the Air Jordan 6, and this particular model was named Reflections of a Champion. It released in June of 2019 for a retail price of $225. It is currently reselling on StockX for about $300 or so. So after taxes and fees, you're paying about $100 over retail, $105, which ain't hateful. And if you have a dead stock pair, you can sell them and you're gonna actually lose money on that. But if by the time they take the tax and fees out, you're probably only losing 20 or 30 bucks. If it's something you've been sitting on, you don't plan to wear, and you're not gonna do anything with it, then selling it ain't really a bad idea on that one. Finally, we got a video where I say that. So with that being said, I'm gonna give you the, the, the um, the uh, memos of what was left in the box on a, a card, it says the Air Jordan 6. The Air Jordan 6 is one of the most iconic silhouettes in the history of sneakers. This season, Jordan brand celebrates this model by delivering detailed craftsmanship, honoring MJ's first Triple Crown run, league MVP, all-star MVP, and finals MVP. This instant classic will leave you saying it got to be the shoes. So that was a little card that was left in the box for these. Um, it did come in a special um, card box as a lot of the special Air Jordans do. And um, as always, let's start at the tongue. Now the tooling on the whole shoe is actually the Air Jordan 6 infrared, which Jordan was wearing the season that he won his first championship in the NBA in 1991. So you got your standard Air Jordan 6 um, tongue, you know, the, the rubber plastic, right, with the vent hole so you can pull up and fit into the shoe. And you got the stride with the infrared jump man on it going all the way down. As you can see, I didn't do a lace swap or anything. I just left it basic. But the tooling, like I said, is pretty much the Air Jordan 6 infrared. So when you go to the lateral side of the shoe, this is where it pops and stand out. It made me want to grab the shoe. The whole upper is done in a very, very nice 3M reflective material. The whole upper. So it's like gray, you know what I'm saying? But if that camera is doing what it's supposed to do and that, that um, light from the flash is doing what it's supposed to do, you're looking at a completely 3M upper. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know I love 3M on shoes, so I had to have this shoe. Um, as you see, the midsole is done in black, and then you got your red infrared hits, and you got your icy outsole, which actually is um, held up well with age, but I only wear the shoe like three times. Because after I got it, I'm like, well, what am I gonna style this with? I guess red and black, but then again, the whole shoe is really great when it's the 3M is not hitting it. So our light is not hitting it until you can see the 3M speed. So when you look at the medial side of the shoe, you get more of the same, just that beautiful 3M upper. You will notice there's no 3M in between here and here because the 3M is all on our side of the shoe. Then you got your black and your infrared hits and I, I see outsole. You go to the rear of the shoe, you get um, more of that 3M, but they did put Nike Air on the back, which was kind of confusing because I believe they should leave the Nike Air for only OGs, but since this tooling was based off of OG, I see why they put the Nike Air on there and then for 225, they're like, okay, everybody's gonna want Nike Air on the back. So you got your Nike Air stitched in in black, done very well, just like the OGs or the infrareds had the Nike Air stitched in black. Um, I believe they should have probably did it in infrared color, but that's just my opinion. You got your um, spoiler on here with the black and the infrared. And then um, on both sides, of course, but then you got the little infrared peeking from the back. But I think the stitching on here was done extremely well. When you get to the outsole, you got your classic Air Jordan 6 outsole done in that icy blue with the uh, infrared jump man in it. And then um, I want to say these shoes, if I'm not mistaken, has air in both. I think it's just regular air in the forefoot and the heel, but I could be mistaken. But again, the Air Jordan 6 is really comfortable for wide footers like myself. So I don't pull the shoe out often. I've literally only wore this shoe maybe two, three times because it's kind of hard to style. Now, I was thinking about going full 3M for some custom merch for myself, but I just, I don't know. I'm like, man, I'm, I just thought I'd look like a neon video or something, so I just passed. So I barely pulled the shoe out. I thought about selling it a couple times, but I'm like, I, I just love 3M. So, and this one of them type of shoes is kind of flashy. You just could pull it out anytime and just be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You go out at night, go to a club or whatever, any light in that place is gonna hit the shoe and it's gonna immediately catch attention. So that's what kept me holding on to the shoe. But drop your comments down below what you feel about the Air Jordan 6 reflection of a champion. I started to, um, 
started to um, buy the Air Jordan 13, um, all three in reflective, but the price started getting outrageous because I guess the pair started, you know, get gobbled up. And I'm just like, man, I'm not about to give you $600 or $500 for the shoe. I don't want it that bad. But drop your comments down below and tell me what you think. So as always, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And as always, please like, comment, and share the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. So with that being said, we're going to get up out of here. But as always, love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.